I'm going to go right in to talk about the residential housing market updates. So if we combine the five counties, as always, Alameda, Contra Costa, San Francisco, San Mateo, and Santa Clara County, as you see that the number of active listings right now in January, we saw it was a huge drop, right? And we were thinking that it's going to come up. It did come up, but it really did not come up that much. It's still relatively low. We are still very much kind of similar to what we had in December and January. It did come up a little bit. But if you look at the number of sales, that's what makes a difference. I'm sure if you are actively looking at the market right now, you notice that there are a lot of competition. So as you see that over here, the red line, it shows the number of sales, even though the number of active listings it kind of went up a little bit, but number of sales has shot up quite a bit. End of last year, it was really, really quiet and slow, but we definitely have seen such a huge uptick in activity. And we've been kind of sharing this news with you for the last two months since I believe at end of January or February for sure, we have talked about the market has picked up. And it's kind of funny in the sense that when we read the news at the time, we continue to read the news as like, oh, the market is really slow. The price was going down. And we kept saying like, well, you know, the news is usually at least one month to about two months delay compared to the actual what the market is doing. And yesterday, I think yesterday, that was the first time I actually finally see on the news that they're talking about the market has picked up, but it actually has been picking up starting about the third or fourth week of January. And in terms of the month of inventory, again, as you see, the activities has gone so much. We went from two and a half months in January to two months starting to come down and it just dropped down to 1.3. We went back to almost last year, May. 1.3 is really fast. We really started to see offer deadline coming back and then people have to make decision two or three days right out of first open house. So definitely the movement is a lot faster right now. And in terms of median days to sell, again, we see a huge drop from 28 days when half in February for 14 days and now it came down to 12 days. And as for the sales price to list price ratio, it also, of course, you see that it went from like right under asking price to starting to go up and then went up to 3% over asking price right now. Uh, fortunately, we not back to where we were back then uh, last year. In the beginning of last year, it was 14% over the asking price, but still we definitely see a lot more buyers coming in and they do have to offer above asking price in order to win the property. But this is interesting. We actually see more number of listings being withdrawn or canceled in March, March of 2023 compared to February. So our numbers came up a little bit. You know, if I think back, it's actually kind of makes sense because in January, that's when a lot of listings just started to come back onto the market. And then in March, that's when like, if it's not really selling, then they might pull off on the market. But we're talking about just about 100 to no more than 200 per county. So it's really not that many in terms of like how many listings being withdrawn compared to around June or July, you see several hundreds listings being pulled from the market. And in terms of list price decrease, the Santa Clara County, we also see more list price decrease. El San Mateo County went from 83 listings to 120 listings. Alameda County went from 194 listings to 211 listings. San Francisco County went from 134 listings to 208 listings, and Contra Costa County went from 224 listings to 259 listings. So you see that they were definitely peaked around mid last year, and then we have come back down. But then like this month, we started to see a little bit more listings that drop prices. In terms of transaction fell through, it's also really interesting because even though we see more sales, we also see more transactions fell through. We have gone from 87 listings to 129 listings in the aggregate of five counties. So we definitely see a little bit more transactions fell through. One of the reasons I can think of is because the mortgage rate actually had gone up slightly, and I'm gonna go over that uh, slide with you in a little bit. All right, so let's talk about the battleground. What's going on with all those offers that we've been making? I have to tell you, it's pretty brutal out there. Um, and surprisingly, when the house is in great location and it has potential, even for a while we talked about if the property needs some updating around end of last year, you still, you just don't see a lot of activities. The property pretty much have to be in pristine condition and also like in really good location. 
And but now is that if you are in good location, even though the property needs some work, we're still seeing quite a few multiple offers now. As an example, you see that in Palo Alto, a single family home asking price was 1.998, received 11 offers and went up to 2.363. In Sunnyvale, single family, 2.88, uh, they only received two offers, but it did go above, slightly above asking price. And even Santa Clara, Santa Clara has been Last year, we would see property selling at $1.3 million, but now we don't see that anymore. And even a home that needs updating or a home that is like on probate sale, and you see that they received so many offers and still went above several hundred thousand dollars above asking price. And then even Milpitas, they did receive nine offers and it just went slightly over asking price to $1.01 million. And then we have other areas, for example, and on the East Bay, even Connor and townhomes right now they are receiving quite a few offers and also they are going quite a bit of money above the asking price and peninsula of course in san mateo same thing this is a probate sale 1.3448 and they received 14 offers and went to 1.655 million dollars so you see that even in the peninsula area there's also a lot of activities right now so what happens to the median sales price with all these activities again we highlighted the last year right april 2022 and may 2022 depends on the counties those are the prices that have peaked and we are almost almost a full year now but what you see that santa Clara county alameda county san francisco county and contra Costa county they pretty much have their sales price higher this month compared to february so as you see the santa Clara county it peaked in april 2022 at 1.95 million dollars it went all the way down to about 1.465 and kind of went above like a little bit higher a little bit lower but now this month on in march 2023 it shot up to 1.67 and for san mateo county in april 2022 it peaked at 2.25 million dollars and it started to come down throughout the months and went down to 1.48 and last month if you were with us uh, during our episode we talked about like this is a really weird number i didn't expect this to stay at 1.95 that was just like a really high number typically it happens because there was just this one property that um just shot up so sure enough like this month we do see that this looks a lot more um, it makes sense that at 1.7845 million dollars even though it's lower than february but i think this trend actually makes a lot more sense and Alameda County peaked in May at $1.5 million, and um, it went all the way down to 1.022 in January of 2023, but it has gone back up to 1.205 uh, in March of 2023 and san francisco at 2.05 in april 2022 and it went all the way down to 1.385 in january and now came back up to 1.695 million dollars and then as for contra costa county it went from 980 thousand dollars peaked in may of 2022 it came all the way down to 725 thousand in january 2023 and eventually came back up to 820,000 in March of 2023. So if you look at the percentage wise, Santa Clara County, Alameda County, San Francisco County, they all went more than 10% over what it was last month. And even Contra Costa County is almost 10% uh, from last month. If you look at year over year though, from last year, they all came down about 12 to 15 percent from last year and if you compare from the peak the highest price point then they have come down like from uh, 14 to about 20 percent and if you do remember we talked about i think we in around january we talked about how much it has come down 1.95 to 1.465 so let's say if um, has come down from 1.475 that means it dropped 24 percent right the price but you know what it takes a lot more to go back up to 1.95. If we want to, um, we, we want the price to go from 1.475 to go back up to 1.95, it actually takes 32% in order to go back up there. So I just thought like to share this with everybody to see that how this is gonna take a little bit longer to go back up compared to how, how fast it came down. But then it's also good to know that this is where the market cycle, you are catching the bottom right now and we are starting to go back up. And that's why I think a lot of buyers realize that the pricing are starting to come up and then also, um, and that's why they are uh, all coming back out to start looking for properties. And in terms of mortgage rates, of course, mortgage rate 
was also one of the factors that affect a lot of the demand. So if we look at the projections, again, Freddie Mac, they no longer provide the projections, so it stopped in October 22, but I still kept their numbers here because they did have the projections all the way to 4Q 2023. We, I just kind of want to see that how far off of how accurate they are. But if you see Fannie Mae, they did change their, their projections from February 2023 to March 2023. So within a month, I was very surprised that they had increased for 2Q 2023, they increased 60 basis this point, which means that last month they were expecting 2Q 2023, the mortgage rate is going to be at 6%, but now they, a month later, they had adjusted their projections and projecting that the mortgage rate is going to be at 6.6% uh, for 30 years conforming loan limit. And 3Q 2023 is going to stay about the same and the 4Q 2023 is going to come down a little bit, but regardless, they have increased the projections compared to their last month's projections. And as for Mortgage Bankers Association, they also have increased their projections compared to what they had back in December 2022, but they are also at above 6% interest rate for 2Q 2023. And then, but at 3Q and 4Q, they have started to come down below 6%. And for National Association of Realtors, their projections 2Q 2023 is at 6.3%. And also they're projecting it's going to go down below 6% for 3Q 2023 and 4Q 2023. And all three agencies, they also predicted that 2024 1Q, uh, the mortgage rate is going to continue to come down. And this is really exciting to see that it's like really close to 5.1, 5.4%. As I mentioned before, conforming loan limits typically have a higher interest rate compared to jumbo loan limit. So that means jumbo loan is going to have an even lower uh, mortgage rate. I'm really happy to see this because I think home buyers definitely ha need to have some relief. As long as we don't have any other factors that might affect the interest rate, hopefully we can continue to uh, move to the right direction. In the meantime, we want to share with you what's going on with the mortgage rate currently. Last month, the 30 years jumbo loan, again, this is a jumbo loan, that's why it's lower than what I showed you just now. The 30 year mortgage rate is at 5.5%. And as of today, the 30 year jumbo loan is at 5.75. Unfortunately, it has gone up 0.25 from last month. Reminder with everybody, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and also LinkedIn. And of course, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. So I look forward to seeing you guys next month. Talk to you soon. Bye.